Just towards the close of 2019, the federal government shut its land borders for what it claims to be security and economic reasons. This incident consequently overshadowed almost all the activities in the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment in 2019. In this special report, our correspondent looks at the closure of the land borders and Nigeria strides to protect its local industry. The report. After seven months of foot dragging, the Nigerian government in May 2019 signed the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement, which is predicted to boost the combined consumer and business spending and increase intra-African trade by at least 53.2%. In August, just three months after signing of the African Trade Agreement, Nigeria closed its borders to Benin, Niger Republic and Cameroon effectively banning all trade, import and export with its neighbors through the land borders. The magnitude of seizures and the number of illegal immigrants recorded indicate that nothing is being done yet by both countries, at least Benin and Niger. We are hoping that uh, they will then be able to uh, recommend uh, formally for the uh, opening of the border. The closure not only had far-reaching effects on the supply of products within Nigeria, it left in its trail disruption of economic activities on border communities and adjoining neighboring countries. The total closure of especially the Benin border is having a significant toll on many small and medium enterprises. With the signing of the Joint Border Task Force Agreement between Nigeria and her neighbors, I would like to take this opportunity to appeal to Nigeria to open up her border so that economic activity can resume. While the Nigerian government is counting the gains accruing from the closure, its neighbors and interest group in Nigeria feel otherwise. Any upward price movement arising from the closure was reactionary and therefore temporary. One of the gains of this close closure of border is the reduction of proliferation of arms. Just like the cement policy, the private sector, though not against the closure in its entirety, suggested some supporting policies that would stimulate and grow local production to meet the effects of shortfall occasioned by import decline. One of the things I expect that the border closure should go hand in hand with is a well-articulated policy on how to improve the efficiency of our ports, of our seaports, so that those goods that are coming to the land border solely because the, uh, the sea borders or the seaports are highly inefficient will be related to, to the Nigerian seaports. And when there is too much disparity in import tariff between you and your neighboring country, especially when you have a porous border, it's a big incentive for smuggling. So we can reduce some of the tariffs, at least reduce it to the extent that it doesn't hurt the local manufacturing sector. While the President Muhammad Buhari administration's policy seeks increasing exports and local food production, it may need to further stimulate local production, especially on products Nigeria has comparative advantage. 